Hey guys, I'm Nathan Prather, and today on Astronomy 360, we're going to be talking about how to observe Saturn. So, if you talk to any amateur astronomer, and you ask them what is the most beautiful object in the sky, they'll say, Saturn. Pretty much, that's a given. It's just an incredibly beautiful object. But the problem is, few amateur astronomers know how to view it correctly. So, this video is going to give you some helpful tips on how to view Saturn correctly. So, first, let's just discuss Saturn. Saturn, of course, you have the sphere of Saturn, which is the planet itself, and then you also have its magnificent ring system. Saturn has, hands down, the most beautiful ring system in the solar system. So, Saturn's ring system, it includes the A ring, the B ring, and the C ring. The A ring and the B ring are the most prominent. It'll be pretty hard to get a good view of it. Saturn also has two major divisions in its ring. Saturn has what's called the Cassini division. It's named after Italian astronomer Giovanni Cassini, but that's some other trivia. Um, and then it also has what's called the NK division. I don't know who the NK division is named after. I'll look that up. Um, but it's a 35 millimeter gap, 0.35 degree gap in Saturn. Um, the NK division, it's really hard to view, and that's almost an understatement. Even in a 8 to 10 inch scope, you can catch it in between probably an 8 and 10 inch scope on nights of rougher seeing and probably you could ease it out in a 6 inch telescope um, on nights of better seeing, on nights of perfectly steady seeing. In fact, you'll need perfectly steady seeing in a 6 inch scope. Um, so that the NK division will be really hard to view. But let's get to Saturn's cloud belts. So Saturn, like Jupiter, has cloud belts. But unlike Jupiter, Saturn's cloud belts are extremely delicate. Jupiter, of course, has more delicate cloud belts, but you can see the major brilliant ones with pretty much no effort. But Saturn's ones, all around, they're extremely delicate. So um, here's how to view the cloud belts. So at six inch, six inches of aperture, and good magnification, you will see some of the major cloud belts. But it will take a 10 to 12 inch scope to see all of them. So if you have a 10 to 12 inch scope, you will see all the major cloud belts, and all the cloud belts, period, in fact. Now, of course, there are other observing conditions that can come into play that will hinder your observing of these cloud belts, but that's the general observing guideline. Now, let's move on to Saturn's moons. Saturn has 60 moons. So, the um, most prominent and easiest to view, of course, is Titan. Titan is a magnitude 6 moon. Um, but Saturn's other major moons include Enceladus at magnitude 10, uh, 10 or 12, somewhere around there. Um, so it has those, and so all through that it has moons, it has um, Rhea, it has Triton, um, and it has some other ones as well. It has, I think, about 10 major moons that you can view. I, I'll go into more detail about the moons and how to view the moons specifically in another video, my next video hopefully, but for now, this has been a guide to observing Saturn. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.